Let's build a blockchain in less than 3 minutes. We will create a digital ledger where each block of data is linked to the previous one using cryptographic hashes, ensuring that blocks cannot be modified or inserted in between existing ones. We will use libraries such as Hashlib and Time for our block timestamps and hash calculations. The JSON module helps us save and load our blockchain ledger, while Matplotlib and NetworkX are used to visualize the chain as a graph. First of all, we will define a block class. Each block stores an index, some data, a reference to the previous block's hash, and a timestamp. The next hash block method will create a SHA-26 hash as a unique fingerprint. We will also include a helper method to convert a block to a dictionary and then reconstruct it from one. This is essential for saving and loading our ledger. Next up, we have the create genesis block function, which initializes the very first block, called the genesis block, with a default previous hash. Following that, we have the next block function, which creates new blocks by incrementing the index and linking each new block to the previous block's hash. So in essence, we're using the hashes of previous blocks to create new blocks, linking them together. With our methods created, we can start building our blockchain. We create an array called blockchain, with the first element being the genesis block. We then instantiate the previous block as the first element of the blockchain array. Next up, using a for loop, we will add 5 more blocks to the blockchain, using the next block function to generate a new block using the previous block and the new data. Each block is linked to its predecessor by referencing its hash, thereby forming our chain. To make the blockchain persistent, we will convert the blockchain into a list of dictionaries and save it into a JSON file using our previously declared store ledger method. We can later use load ledger to load our JSON file. And finally, we want to visualize our blockchain. Using network X, we will create a directed graph where each node represents a block and the edges show the connections between them. We will then draw the graph using matplotlib to give a visual overview of our chain structure. And as you can see here, this is the result. And that's about it, we have successfully built our first blockchain from scratch. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.